Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the opportunity to allow me to present my paper today to all of you. My name is Brandon. I am from Nelson Mandela University in South Africa. The paper topic is Best Practices to Address Medical Identity Theft Awareness. I did this study as part of my Master's in Information Technology degree between 2018 and 2020. The second author, Prof. Delanka, supervised me for this research. In the following slides, we will delve deeper into the problem that exists regarding the topics of medical identity theft. The presentation will culminate in an explanation of best practices identified in the study to address medical identity theft and create awareness. Healthcare fraud in hospitals usually occur when acts of deception are committed by employees in the healthcare industry, which is gradually increasing and affects millions of people worldwide. Identity theft, also known as identity fraud, is a worldwide problem. Medical identity theft is a subtype of identity theft, whose prevalence is continuously growing. Raising awareness for health insurance members and creating best practices are essential to protect the healthcare sector from possible medical identity theft damages. Mancini defines medical identity theft as a practice in which someone uses another individual's identifying information, such as health insurance or social security number, without the individual's knowledge or permission. As the occurrence of medical identity theft progressively increased, it has a major impact on its victims. Medical identity thieves use victims' personal health care information, including their medical data and prescription histories for personal gain. This can cause substantial losses for the victims through erroneous bills and discrepancies in their medical records. As such, medical aid members are losing trust and confidence in their health care providers. Victims of medical identity theft are faced with the daunting process of reclaiming their identities and proving to their health insurance that they were not aware that fraudulent claims were being made using their names. Rectifying issues caused by medical identity theft can take months or years. Patients become aware that they are victims of medical identity theft only once they receive a fraudulent bill or notice a discrepancy in their accounts when they are charged for service or medication which they never received. The main research objective of this paper is to propose best practices that can be used to address awareness of medical identity theft in the healthcare sector. The best practices are aimed at health insurance members to assist them to cope with the occurrence of medical identity theft, either in a proactive way prior to an attack, or a reactive way after an attack. In this study, a qualitative content analysis was conducted using various literature sources to produce a list of best practices for medical identity theft awareness. A three-phase approach was used, including preparation, organization, and reporting and a five-step plan was followed to analyze the gathered literature and identify best practices for health insurance members. The content analysis process started in step one with the identification of literature sources related to the objective of identifying measures that can be used by health insurance members to address medical identity theft. In step two, the researcher familiarized himself with the text through close reading of 20 sources and identified 45 measures that can be used by health insurance members to deal with medical identity theft. In step three, the researcher analyzed the 45 measures and six categories were created. If similarities were found between best practices within the same category and between different categories, the redundant best practices were removed in step four. In step five, new insight led to the revision and refinement of the six best practices categories. Additionally, preemptive, before, and retroactive, after best practice, were distinguished from each other. 
Pre-interface practices are measures that can be taken prior to an incident to minimize individuals' chance of becoming victims of medical identity theft. A total of 26 pre-interface practices that can be used by health insurance members to address medical identity theft were identified in five categories. Safeguard and review healthcare documents, protect medical information, electronic check, financial check, and awareness. In the following slides, one or two preemptive best practices from each category will be briefly explained and the others will be listed within the paper. In Safeguard and Review Healthcare Documents, two of the best practices are 1. Protect your health insurance card number and insurance information by ensuring that they are stored securely. Never leave documents containing healthcare information lying around out in the open. 2. Paper-based medical documents from healthcare professionals and healthcare providers must be shredded before being disposed of and a digital copy must be secured. In Protect Medical Information, two of the best practices are 1. If your health insurance card is lost or stolen, notify your health insurance and request a new card and number. 2. Do not share your health insurance number or medical information with friends or family members in order for them to receive medical treatment using your identity. In the electronic check, two of the best practices are 1. Prior to sharing personal or medical information, such as your ID or health insurance number online, check your privacy policy on the website to find out with whom your information will be shared and how the data will be stored. 2. Do not open emails from unknown senders or click on links such as emails. In financial check, two of the best practices are 1. An overview of your financial history can be requested for review from your credit bureau using your identity document. 2. If you notice a charge for a service that was never received, contact your health insurance to raise concern and gain further insight. In awareness, the best practices are 1. Health insurance members need to be informed about medical identity theft and its consequences. They should be taught how to keep their private medical data protected. Retroactive best practices are measures that can be taken after an incident, which can guide victims of medical identity theft in dealing with its repercussions. A total of nine retroactive best practices that can be used by health insurance members to address medical identity theft were identified in three categories. Safeguard and review healthcare documents, financial check, and notify officials. In the following slide, one or two retroactive best practices from each category will be briefly explained and the others will be listed within the paper. In Retroactive Safeguard and Review Healthcare Documents, the best practices are 1. Collect copies of medical files from healthcare professionals and healthcare providers to provide to officials as evidence. If you believe you are a victim, act quickly. In Retroactive Financial Check, the best practices are 1. An accounting of disclosure is a log report that keeps track of the release of a patient's medical information to other individuals. In retroactive notify officials, one of the best practices are 1. If you notice any suspicious activity in your medical records, inform and provide the evidence to your health insurance provider. In this paper, it was confirmed that the incidence of medical identity theft is increasing globally. It was also confirmed that medical identity theft can have devastating consequences, including financial issues and inaccurate medical records. This informed the objective of identifying best practices to address medical identity theft awareness. A qualitative content analysis of 20 literature sources enabled the identification of 35 best practices includes 
26 preemptive and 9 retroactive best practices. Raising awareness about medical identity theft will enable potential victims to take the appropriate actions and put precautionary measures in place. Future research should aim to evaluate the best practices reported in this paper by assessing their utility while used in practical settings. Finally, I would like to thank all of you for listening to my presentation. I hope that this list of best practices can be used in a practical environment to raise awareness for medical aid members. Please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you.